presentation. He's somebody with a very big portfolio in the business sector, but uh, he's here with us on this edition of the program. And together we're going to be talking about several issues concerning the business association, concerning business in Liberia. And uh, to tell us about some of the engagement he's been involved with uh, doing recent travels, uh, you know, that can benefit Liberia. Welcome to the Bumper Show, Dominic. Uh, good evening and good evening to the peace loving people. My name is Dominic Nimlin, Chair on Trade and Commerce at the Liberia Business Association, also National Chairman for the Patriotic Entrepreneur of Liberia Patel and President of the Liberian Youth Car Dealership Association. By the way, I'm not being paid for either one of them, so <laughs> I don't want to come to <laughs> uh dominic thank you in fact thank you very much for coming and i i want us to start with the business association you know uh following the president's election uh the business top business hierarchies pay the president of visit i i know including uh, the president of the business association james strutter uh the vice president fuma trawali and other members they visited the president and they came out of that uh, meeting all smiles and when i posed the question to them i said oh i see you all smiling what, what what was discussed in there and it was said that one of the questions they've not heard in you know for so long uh, president Boaka asked them that question are you ready for business and they said yes we are ready for business and he said okay since you are ready uh yes me too i'm ready to you know do all of the necessary uh, but where do we stand today the president has been in office now for several months uh, what has been your engagement with uh, the president well after the uh, election we congratulated the, His Excellency President Joseph Mboakai, the Vice President Jeremiah Kuhn, and the Speaker. And on that visit to the President House, I was in part of it yeah, sure. because I was busy. It was the President of the Librarian Business Association, James Schroeder, the Vice President Fuma Tawawari, the Secretary General Rima Fawax, and the Financial Secretary uh, Lucy Stewart. And the first question His Excellency asked them how is the Liberia Business Association? And the response from the president of the Liberian Business Association was, it's like dead because our people are not feeling the impact of the Liberian Business Association. They are not feeling the impact of the liberalization policy. We are being marginalized. The second question president elect Joseph Yuma Barker asked, well, are you guys ready to work? And the president of the Liberian Business Association responded and said to him, yes, we are. And the third thing came out of his excellency, President Joseph Yuma Barker mouth was, Buckle up and get ready. Mm. But um, we are here. For now, we're going to do a recommendation because um, the government is still trying to put his second foot down to sit down. Good. Mm. And uh, the first thing, I will probably have an oversight. But right the first 20 or 15 to 25 days, you saw the meet with the private sector. That hasn't happened yet. We have met with the commerce ministers and other ministries, ministers and cabinet members. But we stay looking up to him. I think we just sent uh, the president just sent a communication to his excellency office requesting an uh, audience with him. Okay, we so besides our first meeting, you want another audience or regular audience with the we, president? We need an audience. Every that is the tradition. Any president take over, you need to give that audience with the, to the private sector know what they're going through and tell minister that they have to work with and tell you, hey, my people say they, they have this problem. My people say they have this problem, work with them here, work with them there. I see it as an oversight because our president, Joseph Yuma Baga, you have a lot of pressure on him, a lot of sleepless nights. So we're just going to keep reminding him until the right thing happens because mm -hmm. we have a lot of, um, depending on him for a lot of things, depending on him for the dynamic to be changed within the library private sector. And we know it's going to happen under this administration because the vice president is a business person from his mother's stomach. The speaker, I think, I stand to be correct. He's a business person. Today we have Musa Ability, Rugi Barry, a lot of business people in the lower house and the upper house. So we think this time around our story will change. Yeah, the, the, the story will, will change. And that's the expectation of many librarians that this story will change because it will be in their interest 
interest. But uh, talking about your meetings with uh, officials of government, you just mentioned the Minister of Commerce, which is very, very important. Such meeting with the Commerce Minister, I'm sure, is very, very important. And, you know, when we listened to him recently, he sounded very, very optimistic that he's ready for the business sector when he said that he will resign if he's not supported in that role because he's not just there to be called uh, Minister of uh, Commerce. You know, what was your engagement for, with him? What did you, you know, notice from him? And what was his feedback to you, the business people? So I've been called so many times for the rest time that I have to call a, a, a press conference in my press conference concerning that uh, that issues and uh, the commerce minister he been a friend to me his mother been a friend to me before him i remember my mother just started the hotel to better casa to tear street the tv the refrigerator which we call as bad everything was taken from me she always look at like brand owned businesses when he came he picked it up from where his mother uh, left it and he and myself we started rolling call it a librarian we started doing business together sure. and he one person that stand for the right thing to happen. So when he got to know that 250,000 or 260,000 stand to be, I stand to be corrected, was in the budget for the liberalization policy. He said it was an oversight and they need to write that wrongs. And he was 100%- You said 260,000 260 or 250,000 in, in the budget for, for liberalization yes. association yeah. or the liberalization policy? I think business association or the liberalization okay, policy. The because it still come to the Liba, all of that, yeah. Okay. So he said, no, 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 no. This should be an oversight. And I came out. People came to me, came back to me to lash out the government. I said, no. For now, we're going to do recommendation. We're not going to lash out government. They have a lot of heat. So we help them guide them through the way. If we not see things changing, we we'll see things going the other way before we we'll start coming in our party form in the other form and manner. But for now, we'll continue to remind them, tell them, hey, you are going the wrong way. It need to be this way. I think my first, if, if I was to be a president of Liberia, the first thing is to reconcile the country. The second thing, attract investors to come in the country, get tax incentives. We're not talking about the Koyokaya one and the internet that called the they bring five tricks and only to find out they are bringing in finishing products, robbing the government, robbing the Liberian people at large. We're talking about real investors. When we go on trade fair at time, my brother, the Nigerian government will send probably 50 person and they pay their way, get them feeding, get them allowance. It, I mean, from the private sector, because it is only the private sector, it is only Liberian that are going to build Liberia. It's Nigerian that are building Nigeria. That talk so and talk so. Sure. People ask every time what government can do for you. What Barack Obama said, what you can do for America, not every day what America can do for you. We have to get back to our country. We go to Ghana, we see good things, we come back, we talk about it. It's about time that we start to strive towards it and try to bring the changes what do i mean by that okay government should make create an enabling environment to protect a citizen meaning the librarian private sector we are not being protected we are vulnerable that's why you see the lebanese the indians and the chinese if you say you are not being protected what do you mean by that okay well, man, I said he came into power i think i always sing this song and people say what made you so authentic of talking for the private sector for the past decade plus i said because this is the country that I love, that I can be deported for. I can send my children, I can, I can afford to send my children to any part of the world to school. I can move to any part of the world to stay. But if we all turn our back on Liberia, what would become our country? So, when I said he came into power, we had, I think, I said to be corrected, we have 55% as Liberian, purchase power, where foreign businesses have 45 in that man, it forced you, the foreigner that coming with your millions and billions of dollars, say you are a business person coming to invest into my economy. It forced you to work with me. That what happened in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Africa, all of those economies that we see booming. But in when Manasadi took over, she changed it. She gave the foreign businesses 75 percent purchase power and gave librarian owned businesses 25. And the 25 percent purchase power that were given by Manasadi, between you and myself, we are not benefiting other good 15. We are benefiting, we, we like brand own businesses, we craft, craft, we are benefiting now. Today, I can say we're benefiting all of 14. Mm. The rest is in foreigner hand. That why you come into the country as a stranger from the Rabo International Airport, everything, the Famiton Hotel is owned by foreigner. You check all the BB things or beautiful things you see along the top of the boulevard, it's owned by foreigner because I will say, we the citizen, we are not being protected. And who do we put that blame on? We, we always blame president. At this time around, I told people in the last meeting of Manasadi regime and in the president, we are regime two offices here. The representative and the senators are the problem to this country. 
because they, they have the right to impeach president they do have the oversight they make those rules and regulation that is not in the interest of the people they keep selling our birthrights mm. and today i'm happy that we have of our president who is an entrepreneur we have of senators representatives over 15 to you, 25 you, you think it will change anything we will have we we'll put the foot to the fire to change it if they cannot change it we have another means that we will come away as the librarian private sector we are tired of being spectator in our own economy. So the first step we, we, we're looking at President Boakai for is number one, we got the three or four different plans. The first plan is President Boakai go back to what Edin did, change it. Is it, it, is this, is it, it still the same? Continuing yes. 25, but you said purchasing power? Purchasing power. 25% for Liberians. 25% for Liberians on black and white and 75 for foreign businesses. Mm. What, what law is that? Well, that is the law that sort of empower you as a, as a citizen to be strong within the private sector. That is the law that tell the foreigner, hey, you, you're not sort of do this business. It's not for you. The liberalization yes. policy. You, this is not for you. That's where our protection comes from. Mm. And if we're not being protected today, you see City Brothers selling wholesale retail. You see uh, 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 City Brothers selling blacks by pieces. They're selling crush rack. They're selling smear. By bags, they said in two by two by pieces. There is nothing being left for librarian. But 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 dominate this has been an oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we always governments uh come and go. We always hear about this liberalization policy. And sometimes I, I, I really some we talk about this all of the time. I, I get tired at times just talking about not it going to get tired, my because we, we, we are seeing no change from previous governments, government you know, government. We will talk about it at the end of the day, and even even in the, the 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 previous the last government, we found out that uh, when uh, Honorable uh, Wilson Tapper was the head of the Commerce Ministry, he was one of those who, those who was very rigid that he was even trying to enforce those who were in front of this uh, fronty issue because you found out Liberians who you expect to uh, be protecting themselves, the front for foreigners and say. Yes, it's my business. But at the end of the day, that ice business or that black business is not their own business. It's still continuing. So, because of a representative and senator like I previously stated, put all in the tomato cup. So the foreigner dish all with broomstick. How, how, they, are they, how are they, how are they, how are they putting me in the tomato blame, cup? Blame Thank for you. This? So there is it. You and myself know they have the oversight. The oversight is you make the rules and regulations within the country. It is in black and white that foreigners shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. The implementation part of it, who is it? You know how many times from Manasari region up to present we have taken APN terminal complaint. Mm -hmm. Nobody dare talk to them. And I listened to uh, uh, Senator Snow saying that his worst regret. I listened to Prince Moin saying it will not be business as usual. What are you guys doing to right the wrong that you have done to us? APN terminal don't take librarian dollars. All the shipping line don't take librarian dollars. All right? Today, the shipping lines we used to pay sometimes sixty to seventy dollars to get our flare, our our tele release, or, or our document, our just a plain sheet. Can you imagine CMA taking nine hundred, seven hundred to a thousand dollars just for a photocopy sheet? I have already paid my freight for my container, which is the transportation for the container. Okay. Why are you taking that money from me for a flying sheet? Nobody dare talk to them because our representative senators are friendly with these people. But, but sometimes it's not the representative senators is more than that because uh I, I i remember you or one time accusing even some folks who are part of the lra you know and the customs they are all you know part of these people who are supporting these things that there's a need to weed them out but they are still in there so for me i'm not going to go for them i'll go for the lecture later because the legislator have the oversight. Do you know our foreign exchange rate in the country haven't been decided upon or by the central bank government? It's always foreigners that determine the foreign exchange rate. Central bank government will come out decade after decade. Central bank government will come out and say the rate is 55, but the foreigners on the street will come out and say the rate is 66. And it's 66 then. Nobody come out. You know how many times we have been crying to the legislature, to the central bank governors, concerning interest rate in the sector. The interest rate, you cannot give me money with 35% interest rate. That is not a loan. That is a death trap. Nobody seems to talk about it. Whenever I raise this issue up to Central Bank, the governor said there is not a place to talk about it. Mm. We get a lusher title sitting there. He is debited. You know how many times I have put them to book like? 
How many times I've written them? They don't, they don't, they don't regard us because while the representative and senator don't care as well. But they care, they will summon these people. You know how many times we are taking communication and they summon these people, they don't come and nothing happened. But they let uh, 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 when they summon him, he didn't go the last time he went because he had respect for them. He went with Jane Charles, what they did, they started lashing at him. But the foreigners, nobody care about them. But, they but, scar -free. but you, you too will be blamed because many people also think that you're not engaging the legislatures, I mean, the legislators enough. You think you think so? You, you've been working with me closely. Mm. Money that I spent for press conference to enlighten the public is from my pocket. The Labyrinth Business Association, right across the street from you here, we pay the rent from our pocket. People don't pay you because they are disenchanted. You got Lebanese, you got Indian. The Lebanese men brought saying here to this to, to Labyrinth to say and saying to me. The Indian men, the, the, the Chinese men brought crush right from China to say crush right to me. Today you see them selling down to cooking gas, they got motor boy to supply cooking gas. There is nothing being left for us. The last battle we fought during uh, President We Are Regime was Simenko going to the to the depots directly to sell Simen by back. We went there. Simenko is owned by France. We went there and told him, hey, you stop. The president of the Librarian Business Association, myself, the, the SG by then, Teresa Davis, and uh, uh, even, 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 even Bright, the owner of Sharks. She one of the person that put her foot down for the Librarianization policy. Farasun started the same thing. From the far I know what years Farasun been operating here, that people is only good for raw material. They cannot create any factory here. You'll see you start coming by and say Firestone. But Firestone cannot create factory yet. But mm. today, tomorrow, we hear the American talking about equity deal. They don't come with clean hands. Mm. To the extent they went to the farm, started the downside of the, the rubber association, dealership association, went to the farm and started buying rubber from the farm uh, 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 directly. We have to go there and stop them again. And we threaten them with protests before they stop. We have companies bringing in truck drivers. We have company bringing in cook. We have company bringing in a uh, 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 tire punchers, people to face tire. Are you telling, trying to tell me that people not here to do those things? But but, but those are uh, some of the reasons. Sorry, do, do, Dominic. Dominic, you know these things, and and like I said, we've talked this over and over, and we are over, we are talking it again. We we now have a brand new start. I can say we have a brand new start with the ushering of the uh, Buakai led government, and we all know. You are also alluded to that that he has had this uh, initial meeting with the business association, telling you people to buckle up. That indeed, uh, since you said you're ready for business, indeed he's also ready to support you. And I'm sure uh, these things now are what you're supposed to be engaging him with, instead of you know just just talking again. No, we have to talk that the able deputies hear it. Until we meet him, those things are already on cattle, Ben Cardola, on black and white, waiting for him to open his doors to us. We don't want President Baga to behave the President We Are. Where before you see President We Are, you got to take blood tests. We don't want him to behave the President Sadi. Before we saw Sadi here, we have to shut down the economy for three days, which of course you know about. We don't want to go that route. Mm. President Baga is our father. He said, build Liberia, think Liberia, and love Liberia. So We so, want to see that happening. So the vice president as well, right? Uh, he's a businessman, as we heard. Uh, is he not aware of all of these things? He promised us that he will make sure, and uh, even be coming to us, Musa Abedite came and make the same promise. You know, I don't want to be fast to talk, but the vice president, I believe in him, who looking to see and we're looking with our big eyes. Our eyes, our ear are open. It is only Liberians that can build Liberia. And the government cannot employ more than the private sector. That's why we came out requesting President We are regime to get our $50 million as a loan. We don't want free money from government. Mm -hmm. The $50 million we're asking for is just so, somebody in Ghana doing business, the principal, or in Nigeria, one person. We <laughs> ask for the $50 million as a loan. With a low interest rate, because the banks are killing us, a low interest rate of three to six percent, or payback time from three to five or six years, mm. so, so we can build our own capacity. Of you, 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 you know that um, typical Liberian business people, you know, entrepreneurs, they've been accused all of the time of not paying back uh, loans, not paying back debt. That, that is why you find these, uh, you know, banks, 
in trusting foreigners, you know, over Liberians that they, they come up with this. This notion is there that Liberians, you give them credit instead of them to go and do the business that they're supposed to go do. First thing, that may go and buy a car or you go and buy a house to do something else. Is this the case? That is a blatant lie. I borrowed that English from Manasetti. It's a blatant lie that Liberians don't pay back. Mm. Let me tell you something, Jack Davis or Daniel. I don't know. If somebody go to the bank for loans, the first place that brain interest rate is different from the foreign interest rate. You sure of that? Yeah, that's something I know of. So, so sure. why are they differentiating so between are, the two? Because interest rates? they don't want librarian to own property on the top of Boulevard. Excuse me. They don't want you to be importing rice. They don't want you to do a lot of things. So now you go to the bank, Jack, then you go to the bank and ask for $35,000. They say you should be the first place they're going to scare you. You should bring property value that your great grandparents had. You're going to look for it and bring it. While well, the Lebanese and the Indian going there with lease agreement flying shit. The property they lease from you and myself because they can't own property here. Quote, unquote. But we know that they own a lot of property here. Now, <clears throat> you gave them the, they gave you the, they agreed to give you the loan. Somebody in the bank calling for a $5,000 cut before they can pass the paper. That five thousand dollars you're going to pay for it at the end of the day, and the interest of that five thousand. Then the bank giving you that money with thirty-five percent interest rate start. Before you leave the bank, there is no where you give me money for credit before I invest the money. I start paying. Then they say, "Oh, the charges for that bank, the legal fee, and blah blah blah, is three thousand five hundred. Right there, eight thousand five already leave the money. You bring in goods from China. You take three months before the goods arrive. You have to buy a plane ticket from that same money." Labrador is the only country in the world in the 21st century that you see 35 person, 45 person on one container. We call it groupish container. Be that abroad, don't work on this container because they say it's a waste of time. Then when you come here, the government put penalty on you. Why be that didn't work on it? Why is it is not your fault? Because the government is not creating an area environment to help you. You know the final I seen slip what you're bringing with a high interest rate. The same slipper you're bringing the Lebanese, the Indians, and the Chinese bringing that same slipper. They're selling wholesale retail and supply. Guess what? They're not, they're not going, the loan they're going for a letter of credit. And they will give it to them with 15, 10%, 8% interest rate. You're selling that slipper for $50. Guess what? They'll be selling it for $20, $35, because they're getting it cheaper. Mm -hmm. Who will leave their $40, $30, and come buy the $50 from you? Nobody going to buy from you. Whether you get stuck. Sometimes you bring the goods, you don't even have money to pull it out. It happened to me more than three different times. Some other just go, got or going. I always told people, well, you can do business in Liberia and Sossi. You can do business in Hellfire and Sossi. And Sossi because you got the government fighting you. You got your brothers and sisters fighting you. You got the foreigner fighting you. You got witchcraft fighting you in Liberia. <laughs> witchcraft fighting Yes. So, right there, Jack, there is no way you will make sale. You cannot make no sale. Mm. The goods live right in your hand. That what happened to Liberia own businesses. Okay. All right, let me remind our listeners uh, that uh, the voice you're hearing is the uh, chair on trade and commerce at the uh, Liberian Business Association. He's Dominic Nimlin. Uh, he's our guest on this uh, last segment of the program. And we're talking uh, business. We're talking about uh, uh, prospects. We're talking about challenges of the business sector here in Liberia. And he's one of those that uh, work directly in the sector. So uh, he's, uh, you know, giving us his opinion uh, on what's happening in the sector. Uh, Dominic, I want us to uh, divert a little bit and go to your recent travel because, you know, the other day when I call you, uh, you know, you said you were out of the country and there in Dubai. And we talked the other time, usually when you go on these trips, you sometimes... Besides your own business venture, you chip in uh, to see what can be done for the Liberian Business Association just to benefit Liberia. How was your recent trip? Well, I'm grateful to God my recent trip was okay. And I did a lot on behalf of the Liberian government to, to, to source out in a sense that not buying it, but to get the price range for an amulet of 40 loaded amulets, which of course, the kind of amulets I'm bringing in Liberia, you cannot find a 40 equip each one of my amulets I'm bringing, it have two oxygen tank in it. It have a computer, everything to do your work right in the amulet, that can even lean the amulet and do your operation right there. Mm. I'm bring, I, I, I went to as far as, as spending up to $500 to check for, for fire service trucks, okay. which of course, I was able to locate a fire service trucks that load like or cab motor 
fire service truck that big as the one the police have to spray water, fire service trucks for the airport. And I sent all of those things to the, I don't know, uh, 106 or the deputy fire service director to uh, or, or to, to Liberia, my friend, Edwin Tester. I even sent it to the new airport director, or uh, 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 James Moruba as well. For the airport as well, and because our airport have no equipment, and why most of the flights don't come here. Nobody going to raise their plane to come here. Most of the flights that come here, Air France didn't come here because two different times they had tire flat, and they have the plane have to sit down for a couple of days. They got to go to Ghana and bring people from Ghana to face it here. That's why they stop. People don't want to say the truth. All right. So those fire service truck, I saw fire service truck from twenty thousand dollars up. I saw fire service truck for one hundred and sixty, one hundred and sixty four thousand dollars. The most expensive one. I saw a fire service truck that can go beyond Duco, that can extend in the air beyond Duco. It shoot water as well. Okay. As from all of those, I did video recording, stand in the in the in the in the image, did a video recording, send it, even put it on the social media. The only thing I could get is hammer hammer. The fire service guy I told you about called me. He said they're working on something. Every day houses getting burned here. Gave me one million dollars. The government gave me one million dollars. I can bring up to 15 fire service trucks. You up sure to 15 that? and the what, one, one that will, yes i can bring up to 15. i can okay. bring up to 15 fire service trucks and we don't have water if we want divide we can bring 10 fire service truck with probably nine tankers because the tankers will be following it with water okay. that they can attach the the truck the, the for refill. to refill to flash we need to do that and the government need to enforce the fire or uh, extinguisher to cars, homes, and etc. They haven't done that over the last decade. Even the uh, safety reflection for the night, people cars will break down in the middle of the road. It just lead there. Nobody care. People will run into it and have accident. Trucks break down in the middle of the road. It lead there. People run into it and have accident. I was calling the police director for that, but he, our new police director, you, you saw all of usually those don't things. pick up his car. You 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 saw all of those things too, right? I saw all of them. I did window shopping all of them. Even the camera that the police in America are using on the chest, I brought them a sample. So sometimes people will say, but when said I mean, so you don't have to send me. Mm. I got my country at heart. Okay. I want the right thing to happen. I want people probably to start getting burned. I want people to start dying in fire. You didn't pay my plane ticket. I raised my left to flat at the seven thousand feet up there. Were you only in the hand of boy in the iron boy? <laughs> in the iron boy yeah. yeah okay all right so let's start ha and having... I, I beg you before you go to the land let me say the last one yeah go ahead this new government we're begging you to promote librarian businesses we shouldn't be only known for taking taxes from us especially with a new car dealer we pay a lot of taxes we will buy a car for one thousand for example in america lra and a uh, 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 medtech which is beaver will tell us hey, it's a luxury car you bring us in a car they say that luxury car color you buy one thousand and maybe pay three thousand for custom duty but the government is not patronizing us buying used car they go, we're asking this government like bring government is striving they don't have money other people don't know it let me say it back the uh, used car first certified used car for deputy ministers and directors police should use used car you don't have to buy a brand new car for everybody ghana economy is booming it's in billions the guy use the uses used car Dubai, the economy is booming. They have used cars. Africa, Nigeria, the economy is booming. They're using used cars. Why not Liberia? Why we keep buying hundred and fifty thousand other cars? Where they wait for it? Okay. Popular word again. You want? You don't have equipment. I can bring you equipment of all kind. Bring the money. You don't have to keep promoting Lebanese Indian. Promote Liberian own businesses. Let the profit lead to Liberia to build Liberia. It is only us that can build like bro. We don't run where Brother Shimon make them out of pin the, the legislator and they gotta lay down the ground and like brother lay down the ground before you receive the money. Yeah, they yeah, change yeah. on um, 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 Mr. Tappet or uh, 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 Mr. Kofa and I believe in him. Before Kofa get into the uh, 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 arena of politics, when he had the law friend, he gave up four thousand five hundred dollars to fight the liberalization policy. I, he been giving, making a lot of good promises to me, and I want to say sorry to him for the unfortunate situation. The devil is a liar. He will build our house hundred four town, and we depending on him for the liberalization policies to go through as well. Okay, all right. Uh, let's uh, now start having your participation. Dominic Nimle is here, the uh, chairman on trade and commerce at the Liberian 
Business Association is our guest on this last segment of the program, 0777-835-862-0805-14096. You can call all of those numbers and you will be live here on the program, 0777-835-862-0805-14096. You can call. Let's hear this person. Hello. Hello. Yes, you live. Yes, we're getting you too. Tell us your name and where you come from. Okay, Mary. Uh, is that your only name, Mary? Okay, Mary Jimmy. Let's hear from you now. I'm sure you want to contribute. Mary, you doing business too? Yeah. You're doing business too? Okay. All right, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Tell you thank you too. That's who you are. Dallas, take another person. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Yeah, this is Ishmael Adejem, and I'm calling from and I'm calling from Boya, the back country, Nigeria. All right. Yeah, in the first place, I'm the coordinator for the Nigeria Union of Nigeria, Boya branch. Okay. Let me appreciate uh, Mr. Nemele in the studio for his uh, nice expose. You know, he has said something that actually takes me to come into this conversation. Okay. The corrosion here, we are right at the border. It is just a stone throw to go to Guinea to go to Sierra Leone. These are the difficulties we are facing most of the time. All of our activities have been done in Sierra Leone, in Guinea. And sometimes we see marginal life. Sometimes we wear our goods over there. People price them for us because we have no, we have no option. So actually, I mean, what he's doing over there is a simple. The problem is actually trying to put things together. Like, for we need to be us. To find ways that means to help us in the line of peace testing. We pay our taxes most of the time, but the government is not doing things to actually put things together for the particular. They can find ways for the particular to get money somewhere to do business. Hmm. Only taxes will get paid. So actually, Mr. Nemele, thank you so much. And then we are very much happy and we believe. Okay. This time around, you go ahead. Even the change right here, they give up problem. Like the idea they, they came to change the money, in that money changing, even the particular will suffer a lot. We lose money. So I thank you so much. May God bless you. I thought you are so far. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear from another person. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? We good here. Yeah. How are yourself? Tell us an email where you call from. I'm reading from a call from Broadway to be present for the shop of uh, Marker Highway. Okay, Mr. Flomo. Welcome and let's hear from you. Yeah, thank you. I just listening to your stereo guest and he explained very well. But well, the, the fact with me is that uh, you see the system, uh, my brother, of, the problem of us is us. What do I mean? Uh, we don't pro uh, promote our private like businesses. Everything we private foreign law. And most of the thing is because of kickback. You see, like what the, your, your studio is saying. If you trust that man, you give him money to bring certain things in this country. Like they kind of fire uh, a disaster that going on. 
I think someone A will be caught you. But if the Lebanese men now go and try to lobby, you will see our own brothers or our own officials, they will try to, you know, uh, give assistance to that person. We in the robot industry, sometimes we, we borrow people's car, we rent people car to go and get robot. You know, which is sometimes will come, they say fast food. They prioritize fast food, then we have said we robot and they come. Sometimes the money that we pay to get the robot from the people that will buy it from the car and sell it, the people will take huge percentage for all because we are Liberian and we all suffer from the city. We mm. in the industry, those are things that are happening. So okay. that what my brother is saying, yeah, take a very, very, uh, to conclude quick. I mean, our sister is that we need to prioritize Liberian businesses, but Liberian officials are corrupt and that's some of the things that are very amount in the country. Thank okay. you. Okay, hope that can change. Hope that can change under the new administration. Hello? Yeah, good evening. Welcome. Okay, this is Edgar Wayne Bobo calling you from Lofa County for this week evening. Yeah, Mr. Bobo. Okay, first of all, let me appreciate the studio guests because, like, the brother, by Dominic, is counting, like, on behalf of all the Liberian businesses. Mm -hmm. But some of us, like, he's representing us. But if you look at the Bodo land we have here, sometimes you can manage some of our meditation on the way. But by Dominic, I wouldn't have to bring up for you. Yeah, and uh, also, before you leave the studio, please announce your number. Because we got a lot of challenges here. If the way they are coming, that we need to risk the sell all gas by Zito. We'll be risking in the economy. That will be the state of the liberal citizen. Thank you so much, the evening, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bobo. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bobo, for being a palestic and not a person. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes? This is Ato Jiple, calling from Grand Cru. Okay. You yeah, you call earlier, right? Yes. Okay. Now the mayor is here now. Okay. I would first of all like to say thank and appreciation to him for him to go on the radio to be Latin weed or five or seven in the business cycle. Mm -hmm. My concern has to do with the comment ministry that are responsible to issue business person or business registration certificate. No, 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 we found some of us are funded difficult when we for us to get our business activity. Um, for me, from 2021, I registered my business. Each of the time I can register when the time expires. Okay. The can come. Okay. So I just want to know. Do you do you do you have a, a a county service center there in Grand Crew? Yes. Even the agents, the agents are going around. Each of the time they can come around and they can collect the the. the the flare receipt that we can take from revenue and we give it to them. Okay. All right. So let, let me just say this to you. Um, mm -hmm. The president, as part of this 100-day um, program, uh, the president has uh, made some money available to upgrade uh, all of the county centers, county service centers across the country. So um, you in Grand Coup, I'm sure Grand Coup will benefit from that. And pretty soon your county service center will be up and running. And whatever you're supposed to get from Morovia here, from the Liberal Business Registry, or from whatever whatever document you're supposed to come over from for that is served at the uh, county service center, you will get it there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The next, the next concern has to do with the, the association of self for Liberia, Business Association. Okay. Why is the process of becoming part of it? Because if other time I ask someone who I was thinking that you were going to make uh, me to understand, but why he said, before you can be part of the, the, the amount that he called for registration. Okay. So I want, I want to know how you can be part of this uh, association for business in Liberia. Okay. All right. Let me, let me, let me hold you at that and let's uh, allow um dominic to talk about that one dominic uh, most of the callers were, were probably commendation and explaining their own challenges like you explained but this uh caller wants to know how can he be a member of the business association as far as concern first he already bought the concert by buying the concert he already a member and we have uh um a uh, coordinator in all the counties if you cannot get the coordinators i will give my number before leaving the uh, studio but being a member of Liba, you come with two passports a picture. You come with photocopy of your business registration, and you come with based on your business, you come with sometimes thousand dollar LD, two thousand to ten thousand dollars LD. 
Okay. Yes. So, we're not American, so we don't charge US dollar, but you have the equivalence, you can bring it to become a member of Libra. Okay. All right. Let's uh, take more calls. Hello? Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? We're good here. Okay. I'm Mr. Jingis, and I call you from Fender Resident of the Sapan Screen. Okay. Community. Mm -hmm. um, I want to commend my brother so highly. Um, the way he make the Liberian people that are sitting behind the curtain, I don't know. I need to know. That is, Liberian business are really struggling. But um, for me, I'm of a conviction that Ambassador Joseph Human Boakai, the way we started the process, I'm of the conviction that it will, the dynamic will change. Okay. Us, our Ambassador Parker and, and our, our President Jeremiah Kuhn from the business sector, and they are the grassroots president and vice president. I believe that it will change. Let us look at the post and I believe that it will change. And the, plus the problem here with the, with the, with the, the Liberian business, or the people that give us hard time here yeah, to do with the, uh, the alien, the foreigners, the guys, our people in the commerce and finance area, they only to see money. They don't look at the Liberian taxation policy. The people are occupied places, they only go there to enrich them and their family. But this time around, we assure them that we to okay. make sure the Liberian policy is in the place with John the brother, if you want us to, to get in the street, get in the street to make sure Liberian baby be Liberian baby. Because okay. we can be here All right. in a certain quarter. Yeah. The in a certain quarter. Let, 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 let's. They may live away in Nigeria. They come, they come around with Barrow. What's that? What we're going to? What the country here to? Okay. So let's. I'm going to you for all that you continue to do. We got your back and we're we'll working in line with you to make sure Liberian business stay tough. Thank you, thank you, Jenkins. Thank you for being a part of the program. This, but but um, Dominic, I want to ask you, right? You usually travel to these countries on business trips. How is it happening there? Let, let, let's just take, for example, like our neighboring countries. How is it happening there? Different from here, for which uh, our business people always cry. So. It's, they're not doing, you don't need a rocket scientist to tell you how it's happening, and they're not doing no juju to make it happen for the citizen. Like I said, we're not being respected, we are not being protected as librarian owned businesses because of the liberalization policy is not working until it gets to work. Government after the government will just be talking sweet talks and we'll be making no progress, we'll be making no changes. Can this liberalization policy work? You think you think it yes, can work? And the only way it can work, our ministers. Our senators and representatives have to stop being so friendly with those foreign businesses. Make them to understand that I put my citizen first. You as representative, the name representative, you're representing your people. You are senator, you are sitting there to oversee and make sure the right thing happens for your people. But listen, man, let me say this again. The last time I checked, Liberia don't have a good hospital. We just start doing uh, 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 DNA in Liberia of late and not even 100% accurate. But most of our representatives and senators have died in the hospital in Ghana. Because what? India. Ghana. No, I go Ghana. I won't go far off. Mm. I go in Ghana. India is far off. Ghana. Because what? The Ghanaians representatives and senators put their citizens first. They have the best hospital. They have the best schools. They have the best supermarket. As all as we are, we don't even have a shopping mall to call in this country. But we have the biggest mouth. They will go over the weekend to go with their girlfriend, their children. Some of them, their children are going to school in Ghana. Why is it our education sector is not better? Because our representatives and senators haven't put their foot down to say, yes, I put my foot down and I stand for the right thing for our people. How can you be taking my goal and that get me 0.3% royalty for what? A for you? Mm. What do we say? I worked in Africa for 10 years, during the 90 to the 2000 and couple of years, 2006 or 2003. 2003, because I came back to Liberia. Do you know that we are doing locking there with a company called Simple? It's the company that make Musa Bedete man today that he is, that make him rich doing Chatterton. They call it MGC2. That why Musa Bedete know me from, he got big respect for me. Mm. 
My, they call it Mohammed Group of Company. Musa Bede, they brought that company to Liberia. I was working with the branch in Africa, the company from France. Do you know every one lock or tree you caught in Africa, you plant six in return? In Liberia, they just come and trim our forests. Do you know before that company start working, you have to put the tanchi, they collect, you got to build hospital, build school, face the road for the people? It don't happen here. Do you mind I said in Virginia? I think you follow a story where well, the Ghana men are taking gold from Liberia, all of the townships are being whipped and they flock the township. The township will test us by his own people. We don't love ourselves. We mean to love most of our brothers and sisters when they mistaken and get our American passport or visa. They start saying that like your country then. In America, we'll stay when I travel to America, London or Japan, we'll stay in queue. We don't make noise, but when we come to the airport, they say get in queue, you start cursing. We are still in traffic in, in New York traffic for 30 minutes, one hour. You will not complain, but you can't hear when traffic for you, you start cussing. Hmm. We need to change. We no problem will build Liberia like for us beside ourselves. Of course, we need to change, and nobody will build like Liberia for ourselves. But I, I want us to come back now to the business association because, yes, you're running the business association, you have uh, businesses, but sometimes you look at government right uh, you need 50 million from government you need government to do this to do that but uh what is the business association doing too in this power to help liberian businesses what we've been doing you know about it jack i shouldn't tell you no but they are like we've been fighting there. for our own packet to fight for the rights of liberian owned businesses from yeah. for, for me since 2015 up to today's date we pay the rent for liba for our own packet what liba sort of be in the be captured in the budget Liba is not in the budget. Liba was enacted by Lord. Up to today's day, Liba is not in the budget. Even if that like $1 million every year, they should put it there for Liba. It will come up and say, we come up with a, with a, with a sensitization. And that sensitization will just cover most of the It don't even get to the slum of most of mm. If you were putting money into the budget, we will be helping. Uh, 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 it will be helping the the, uh, the central bank to be carrying information because we have uh, uh, offices in all the countries, which a full central bank does does not. Are we not? What are we doing to help ourselves? If you leave our children vulnerable, what will happen to them? They will turn to Zogo and Zogo. In Liberia, we talk politics. Politics is where you put your packet in your stomach. Politics is where you put the people. But most of our people out there want to become representative and senator. They come with a mindset to enrich themselves, to send a women in America to go get birth pay twenty five thousand dollars to get U.S. citizenship, and don't don't care about the country. Look at what have set here. I doing mining in uh, uh, uh Westward. Can you imagine? We went there, the hospital that there was no Paris settlement for. I say ASA. We have my friend and myself went there. He from the states. He have a local NGO. You have to talk to the people there before they get into the five thousand dollars US doing the person we are reaching to buy pharmaceutical drugs for the people there. Do you know what our people are going through? The representatives and senators only push the people to vote for them. The president said them etc. After that, they turn the back on the people. Who told you they cannot deliver? All? Teach the person how to fish and start feeding them with fish. If you feed them fish, they mean you want to keep them in poverty to the standstill position. Okay. All right, uh, Dominic. Dominic, we don't have much time now. I know you have said enough, and I hope you know you can continue. Or uh, say the entire business association can can continue with this engagement to ensure that because what the president uh, said already, we 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 heard it, and we uh, you know will hold him by his word that yes, he's ready to push for you, the business people, only if you. Uh, are ready to work so hope that the engagement will continue and uh, the president too will make himself available to meet with you guys as uh, you know much as uh, you know you can meet to talk about these things so anything finally that you want to close up with i just want to remember remind his excellency our father of the nation that he said build liberia think liberia and love liberia he shouldn't forget about the librarian private sector because it's only librarian that's going to build Liberia. And I want to say this to His Excellency Vice President Jeremiah Banco. You know what you went through as a librarian business person. Musa Bedete, you know what you went through as a librarian business person. Rookie Barry, you know what you went through as a librarian business person. You should, guys should make the changes up there. They trickle down here for us. The liberalization policy, 75% have been given to foreigners. Please change it. Let it go back to where it were before. Please make APN Terminal and other companies to take librarian dollars. And please fight for 
us to stop being marginalized in our country. Thank you, and God bless you. God bless Liberia. Thank you very much. He's um, um, the vice, that's the chairman on uh, trade and commerce at the uh, Liberian Business Association. He's uh, Dominic Nimle. He's been our guest on this final segment of the Bumper Show. Join us tomorrow at four o'clock uh, for another edition of the program. To that time, my name is Chad Davis, wishing you all the best from Pinesville. Good evening and bye-bye for now.